Hex Department Store, a chain of West Virginia-based discount department stores, opened in 1959 and closed in 1990. Thank you, Daryl, for the correction. Sports, action, strategy, classical, and educational games. See Atari today at the low price of just $131.99. Atari provides the entire family with hours of entertainment. Atari TV game cartridges also available at low prices. Sale now in progress through Saturday, September 11th. Atari The first Hex store opened at 1114 Washington Street East in Charleston in 1959 in a building that housed a Kaiser Fraser auto dealership. It was there that Frank Haddad, brothers Tom and Lester Ellis, and Douglas Cook opened their first discount department store. Haddad and the Ellis's had operated competing stores in nearby Madison, West Virginia. Cook was working for a wholesale distributor. The new store, called Hex, after the letters and the names of the founders and two friends, proved an instant success. Hex offered clothing, home furnishings, hardware, health and beauty aids, jewelry, toys, small appliances, and sporting goods. The store boasted discount pricing and one-stop shopping before it was fashionable. A second store was opened in 1960 in St. Albans, West Virginia, and a third store in Huntington shortly thereafter. By 1963, they had expanded beyond West Virginia, opening stores in Kentucky, Maryland, and Virginia. Hex stores were discount standalone department stores found in small cities throughout West Virginia, Virginia, West Maryland, the Ohio Valley, and parts of Indiana, Kentucky, and North Carolina. Its structure and product lines were similar to its competitors, Fisher's Big Wheel, Hill's Department Stores, G.C. Murphy's Mart, Tempo, and Buckeye Mart Stores, and Walmart. The company thrived and expanded greatly from the 1960s to the 1970s and 80s, their expansion was brought on by buying other out-of-state discount chains. It built an impressive headquarters on Kanawha Boulevard in Charleston and a distribution center in Nitro. According to an article in the West Virginia Encyclopedia, Hex was at one point the only West Virginia company on the New York Stock Exchange. Co-founders, the Ellis Brothers, had sold their company shares in the 1970s. Part of Hex's expansion into the Midwest came after acquiring a smaller discounter, T-Way Stores, Tradeway of Indianapolis. It also acquired Mr. Wiggs of Indiana and Ohio in 1981. At its peak in the 1980s, Hex operated 170 stores throughout West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. Forbes ranked Hex third nationally in profitability and growth in 1980, beating out Kmart. The company had 8,000 employees and had assets of over $300 million. In 1983, Haddad retired as Hex president and sold his stock in the company. Sales fell the following year, and the company saw its first losses in 1984. In 1985, layoffs began as losses continued. A number of factors contributed to Hex's decline. The U.S. economic downturn of the early 1980s hit West Virginia particularly hard, and the store faced increased competition from other chains, such as Walmart. In February of 1987, a $125 million merger agreement with New York City-based 2C Viner Group was terminated due to weak performances by Hex in the final months of 1986, and the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. At the time of the filing, Hex operated 140 stores. 
Its bankruptcy filing indicated the discount chain owed more than $140 million to 2,300 creditors. In 1989, the company emerged from Chapter 11 with 55 stores and a new name, Take 10 Discount Club, a membership club costing $10 to join. Hex continued to operate at a reduced size until 1990 when Jordash Enterprises purchased it by paying $1 and agreeing to assume its large debts. A year later, Jordash closed the chain's few remaining stores and liquidated what was left of its assets. Industry observers list several factors for the collapse of Hex under the new management of Russell Isaacs. They lay the blame on Isaacs sweeping changes to the stores. They also cited customer frustration with the constant store redesigns and products being dropped from inventory. The store also faced major troubles from costly data errors caused by its new computer accounting system. By 1990, all of the stores were closed. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.